Hey guys, welcome back to another Morph 5 workout. Today we have kettlebell flow. It's one of my favorite workouts of the week. Uh, grab yourself some kettlebells, get some light ones. We don't need to go really heavy today because uh, we're flowing through some uh, probably new movements you haven't done before. And uh, it's more about lots of repetition as opposed to heavy lifting today. Uh, but once you're used to it, you can start uh, adding weight as you feel comfortable. When you're learning, make sure you start nice and light. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a warm-up together first before we actually grab the bells and get into it. All right, I think we're, I think we're going here. All right, so let's get started with a little bit of warm-up. Let's start with some jumping jacks. Let's grab 15 of these. Just a combination of some mobility movements and some cardiovascular movements. got three more all right standing straight up bring your hands down to the floor walk the hands out to a plank and then we'll walk back into the feet stand on up and repeat so these are just hand walkouts warming up our wrists getting a little bit of a stretch to the back of the legs if we keep on our knees nice and straight uh, then we'll get that bit of a dynamic stretch back there as well we got two more if you want to add the push-up in, start warming up the shoulders a little bit more. <laughs> and one more. Very good. Take a lunge step forward with the right foot. Dropping down your back knee elevated. Grab the outside of the knee with the left hand. Pull and twist. Face the front, step back, left foot comes forward, drop to the lunge, right hand to the outside of the knee, pull and twist. Release that, we got one more per side. Right foot forward. So we got another flow that I just kind of put together before the workout started. So we get to learn together again today. Left foot forward. Drop down, grab the outside of the knee. Come back up, feet nice and wide. Drop the hands down, stretching out the inner thigh here. And rocking the knees back and forth. knees down to the floor. Kneeling position, high kneeling position. Cross the arms over the chest. Be careful with this one. Don't go too far or too fast. Leaning back at the knees and then coming back forward again. So we're putting a little bit of a demand through the knee joint. Make sure it's not uncomfortable or painful. But we're trying to get the quads warmed up here. And one more for four. Good. Hands down on the floor. Bring the feet flat into a squat, low squat position. Get the elbows inside the knees. We're going to add our twist. We like to do these with the low squat. Reaching the right hand up to the ceiling. Bring that hand down, left hand up. that down right hand up so they announced today that hairdressers or hair salons are allowed to open on Monday left hand up so I don't have the excuse for the massive hair anymore and neither do you we can get our hair cut after this weekend hands back on the floor crab extensions show from the side so hands are on the floor feet are on the floor hips go up head goes back Really trying to get the hips high. Bring them down and bring them up. Reset, we got two more. And one more. All right. Come on up. If you have a dowel or broomstick handy or nearby, 
and grab a hold of that. You can use that. If you don't have a dowel, you've got an elastic band, grab that. If you don't have that, take your shirt off and just hold your shirt. That works too. You're at home, no one's watching. So here we go, we're gonna pull whatever object you have behind the head. You might stop here. If you feel a stretch through the shoulders or front of the shoulders, you might get back there. You might get all the way around behind you. Come back up and around. If you get all the way back here and there wasn't much stretch or effort, then just grab narrower on your object. The narrower the hands, the harder it is to mobilize for that full um, rotation of the shoulder. The goal is not necessarily to get all the way back there. The goal is to mobilize and open up the shoulder. So even if you're working in this range of motion, but you're feeling the shoulder is being challenged in its mobility, then mission accomplished. You don't have to get all the way back there. We have some overhead stuff with the kettlebells today, so just making sure that we warm up the shoulders nicely. All right. Okay, let's release that. We're gonna call that our warm up. All right, so um, we have one single flow today, uh, but I'm gonna break it up into two halves. We're gonna do the first half for three minutes, take a break. We're gonna do that same first half for four minutes, take a break, and then we're gonna go into two six minute rounds where we'll add in that second component at the very end. Um, hopefully it's uh, not too confusing. Some of these flows get a little wonky and this would be one of them. So I'm gonna go through uh, the first half with you nice and slow, we'll do it together. We're gonna go through the second half nice and slow, we'll learn it together, and then we'll get our timer on and start the three minutes. Um, like I said, grab a light kettlebell, that would be my recommendation. All right, so we're gonna actually start this flow in a inverted goblet position. So you're gonna flip your kettlebell upside down, bottom facing up, and just hold it up at the chest. This is our start position. This is also where we're going to finish. So, uh, and I might have to pause and look at the board here, because again, I just put this together, so I might not remember the whole thing. Uh, let's start with a single arm swing. So from this position, I'm gonna transfer the kettlebell to one hand and do a single arm swing. Let's do a couple of these here. There's only gonna be one when we're actually flowing. Let's get this moving down. From this single arm swing, we're gonna go into a lunge swing. I'm swinging with my right arm, so my right leg is gonna go back in the lunge, and then the weight is also gonna swing to my side. So there's a lunge swing. Single swing, lunge swing. Single swing, lunge swing. All right, you got that, those first two movements down. From there, we're gonna go into a switch rotation clean. So, as I come up from this lunge swing, I'm gonna switch hands, face sideways and catch the kettlebell at my shoulder in a clean position, but now I'm facing backwards. I realize this is not ideal for watching a video. Let me put the whole thing together for you and then you can try it a couple times. So single arm swing, lunge swing, switch hands, turn and clean it at the shoulder. You get that? I'll show it from the side. All right, single swing. Lunge, swing, switch, rotate, clean it up. All right, practice that a couple of times. From there, we're gonna go into a baseball pitch. So we finished cleaning on this left side. I'm gonna press the weight up and cast it forward, okay? As the weight comes backwards, I'm gonna turn with it. So we're always going with the momentum of the, of the bell. Once again, from that clean, we're gonna go up, baseball pitch forward, and turn. As I turn, I'm going to catch it with the other hand. All right, let's go back from the start here. There's a lot going on. So, single swing, lunge swing, switch, catch it in the clean. Press the left arm up, baseball swing, catch it in the right, and then we're going into one more side swing. So it's back in the original hand, the right hand at this point. After the side swing, 
when I come back to the front, I'm gonna catch my kettlebell upside down. It's moving towards my left shoulder. So I'm gonna halo around um, to the, uh, from the left ear around to the right side. Okay, again, let's go from the start. Kettlebell on the right side, single swing, lunge swing, switch, rotate and clean, baseball pitch, switch, side swing, catch opposite shoulder into that halo. And then from the halo, I'm gonna go into an inverted swing, which is like a two-handed swing, but I have my kettlebell held upside down here. So I've got this kind of an awkward hand position swing. And on the way up, I'm gonna catch it into a squat forward press. Stand up, and now I'm back to where I started. Woo! How'd we do? Let's go through the whole thing once, slowly. All right, from here, single arm swing, lunge swing, switch, catch it in the clean, baseball pass, switch, side swing, catch it into the halo, come around, down with both hands, swing into a forward press hold, stand, and then we go to the other side. Let's try it once on the other side here. Single swing on the left. Lunge swing on the left. Oh, let's restart. I missed my cue on that one. Let's go again. All right, single arm swing, lunge swing, switch, catch it into the clean, baseball pass, switch, let it swing, come up to halo on the right ear, around to the left, double hand inverted swing into a forward press, hold, and stand. Okay, that's the first half of the flow. The second half's a lot easier. Um, let's just do our couple rounds with that, and then I'll pause our timer, and we'll learn the second half, and we'll peel it on at the end. All right, you still watching? Hopefully. This is a little bit more advanced. The movements aren't like, you don't have to be four to go through them, but this is a lot, and if you're not used to a kettlebell, this can be fairly advanced. All right, here we go. So inverted bell in the goblet position. Let's kick it out to the right hand. Single arm swing, lunge swing, switch, clean it facing the opposite way. Press baseball pass, switch back to the right, side swing, catch it inverted into the halo. Inverted swing, catch it low in the squat. Stand, now we're off to the other side. So left hand, single swing, lunge swing, switch, clean it up, baseball pass, switch to the left, side swing, catch it into the halo, bring it around, inverted swing into front press, and stand. That's one per side. Let's go back to the right. Single arm swing, lunge swing, switch, clean it up. Baseball pass, switch back to the right, side swing, up to the halo, inverted swing to kick it up, into that squat, and stand. Left side, single arm swing, lunge swing, switch, clean, baseball throw, switch back to the left, and halo around. Inverted swing, catch, stand. Back to the right side. Swing, lunge, switch, clean, baseball, switch, side swing, halo around the left. Inverted swing to low catch, left side. Swing, lunge swing, switch, clean it up. Baseball pass, switch, bring it up for the halo. Inverted swing, into the front press, back to the right arm. Just a minute to go here, lunge, switch, clean, baseball, switch hands, side swing, halo, inverted swing, kick it out, and stand, left side, 
swing, lunge, switch, press, baseball, switch, halo around the right, inverted swing, catch it, bring it up, right side, last rep, switch, baseball, switch it back, bring it around for the halo, inverted swing, hold, left side, we got the whole thing memorized yet, just finish it up, alright, I like that one, that's fun, hopefully at least one other person in the world finds that fun too, alright, uh, we got one minute break, then we're going to do it again. If you got the flow down, then grab a weight load that you feel will be a good challenge for you. Uh, I threw a couple extra movements in there, like the swing, to allow you to go with a bit of a heavier weight, to swing the weight out to that hard position, instead of trying to squat, press it out and press it in. So it's designed to allow you to challenge yourself, go a little bit heavier if you want. Please don't take out your 32 kilogram kettlebell but maybe in the 12s, 16s, maybe 20, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna just repeat that again, three more minutes, that same flow. Let's get started here, inverted goblet, right side again. Swing, lunge swing, switch, clean it up. Baseball pass, switch, side swing. Uh, Halo, almost forgot it there. Inverted swing. Kick it out, stand, left side, swing, bunch, switch, clean, baseball pass, switch it up, halo, around the right side, inverted swing, kick it out, bring it in, right side, swing, lunge, switch, clean it up, baseball, switch, side swing, Halo around the left, inverted swing, left side. All right, a nice little flow going on here now. Inverted swing, catch it low. Right side. Woo! I forgot what I was doing there, you keep going. Clean, baseball, switch it back. And halo. I was wondering why there was so much time left, but I think this is a four minute round, not a three minute round. That still doesn't seem right though. Okay, uh, single arm swing left, lunge swing, switch, clean, switch, Halo to the right, inverted, and out, right side, punch, Woo. Halo, inverted swing, forward press, left side, Left lunge, switch, clean it up, baseball, switch, halo to the right, inverted swing, left side, I think left side, right side, left side, right side, right side, baseball, halo to the left, Left side in the arm, swing, lunge, switch it up, clean, halo, left arm, oh, I think I did the same side twice again, that's alright. 
Halo. I think if I don't verbally cue it, I lose it myself. Right side swing. Lunge swing. Switch. Clean. Baseball. Switch. Side swing. Into the halo on the left. Inverted swing. Forward. Press. Woo. Left side. Lunge. Switch. Clean. Baseball. Switch. Halo. Inverted. Press. Ah. Woo. Very good. All right. I'm going to pause the time, get some water, and we're going to learn the second half of that flow. I'll be right there. I just need to wipe the eyeballs. All right. Okay, let's talk the second half of this flow. All right, so we're going to finish in that same position as we started in that inverted goblet. Yep. From here, we're going to go into a series of four movements. We're always going to do three reps of each one. Um, just to get a little bit more repetition and a bit more work. So from here, I'm going to side swing on my right arm. I'm actually going to kettlebell kind of out to my left shoulder slightly to get a little bit of momentum and then bring it out to the side, catch it on the left hand. So I'm just doing a side swing. Okay, I can either have my left hand to stop the kettlebell and help push it back or I might not need to. Depends on the way you have, depends how high your side swing is. From the side swing, we're going to go into a hinge reverse fly. So if this is my side swing, my arm's going to do pretty much the same thing, but I'm going to lower my body into a hinge pattern. And now I will stop the kettlebell and I'm reverse flying. It's like a reverse fly with a dumbbell, uh, but we're actually using a lot of momentum to get the weight up because you're going to be doing a weight load you can't do very slow in control. So we're using momentum through these weaker movements. So we got side swing in an upright position. I got three of those. And then I'm going to go into a uh, hinge reverse fly. Two, three. And then I'm going to go into a side snatch which is similar to the side swing. I'm gonna turn my body and get the kettlebell straight up overhead. I'm gonna kick it back out, catch it on left hand, and come back up. It's almost like a golf swing. Uh, I'm gonna do three of those snatch, uh, side snatches, and then I'm gonna bring the kettlebell down to a rack position, just keeping it on the bicep shoulder of the right arm. I'm going to lift up my left leg, and I'm going to go down into a scale. So from the side, I'm kicking my left leg back. The tricky part is that I really need to lift my elbow up as I hinge forward so the kettlebell doesn't fall out of the arm. So it's actually quite a bit of shoulder work uh, for that movement. After my third rack scale, then I'm just going to bring it down switch arms, come to my uh, start position, or I could also just come right back to that inverted um, inverted goblet position. And now I'm going to the other side. So let's work on the other side together here. So we got three side swings. One, two, let the legs be nice and responsive here. Three, hinge reverse fly, hinge forward. Use the other hand to stop the weight if you need. Three. And then we're coming up into a side, whoo, side snatch, or that golf swing motion. After the third, racking it up. Get it in that nice uh, nook of the arm position. And then I'm gonna go through my scale. 
used the wrong leg there. If you can use either leg, just make sure you switch legs. After three of those, we're gonna bring it back to my inverted position. And then we'll I'd be going back to the start of the very, the very start of the float from there. So let's go through that one more time together. And then we'll get our, actually you know what I'm looking at the time. We just gotta go guys. Let me get the time we're going. So we're gonna start back at the fir at the start of the flow with that one arm swing, lunge swing, baseball, all that stuff. Once we've done uh, both sides, then we're gonna go into those side swing motions. So I'll cue you, don't you worry. But we're working for six minutes straight here. I'm gonna go down to my lighter kettlebell again. Might go back up on the last round. All right, so inverted kettlebell. All right, we're going to single arm swing on the right side. Lunge swing. Switch. Clean it. Baseball. Switch. Side swing. Halo around the left ear. Inverted swing. Catch it low. Draw it in. And now we're going to go off to the uh, other side. Left hand swing. Lunge swing. Switch. Clean. Baseball. Switch. Halo around the right. Inverted swing. Catch it low. Stand up. Now we're going to the new stuff. Side swing on the right arm. One. Two. Three. Hinge reverse fly. Hinge forward. Keep the spine nice and long. Just moving at the hips here. And now side snatch. Three reps of all these. One more. Good. Bring it down to the shoulder. Rack it up. And go into your hinge. One. Two. And three. Swing it out. Catch it. Inverse goblet. Let's go side swing on the left arm. One. Two. Three. Hinge. One. Two, three, side snatch. And bring it down for the rack. Here we go, hinge. That's one. Two, three. All right, bring it back, inverted goblet. We're back to the start, that was two minutes. So we probably got two more rounds. Right side, swing, lunge swing, switch, clean, baseball, switch, woohoo, side swing. I almost lost my kettlebell there. You gotta watch for that. Uh, inverted swing, press, bring it in, left side, swing, lunge swing, switch, clean it up, baseball pass, switch, into the halo. Reverse swing, pull it in, new stuff. Right side, swing times three. One, two, three, hinge. Two, three, into a side snatch. That one's a little funky. I was doing those. Yeah, I was doing those the wrong way. That's fine. Uh, rack it up. We can do it a couple ways. I just did it differently than I did the first round. That's okay. And one more. That's it. Swing it down. Catch it in the goblet. Left side swing. One, two, three. Hinge. And then we got side snatch. Now that's the way I was doing it before. One more. Bring it to the rack. Hinge down. One. Keep the hand close to the chest. Keep that elbow high. Try not to let the kettlebell slide. All right. 
Back to the top. Swing. Lunge swing. Switch. Clean it up. Baseball throw. Switch. Into the halo around the left. Inverted swing. Catch. Pull it in. Left side swing. Lunge swing. Switch. Clean. Baseball. Switch. Halo around the right. And pull it in. All right. Side swings on the right arm. Hinge. One, two, three. Side snatch. Three. Uh, rack and scale. That's two. And three. All right. Left side swing. Two. Three. Hinge reverse fly. And side snatch. One, two, three. Bring it to the rack. And we got our scale. And bring it down. All right, guys. That's three full rounds. Knock that into six minutes, so that's good. All right, water break for one minute. We have one more six minute round to go. We've done all the movements now. We're just gonna do something a little bit different. Instead of doing the first half on the right and then the first half on the left, and then the second half on the right and the second half on the left, we're just gonna go through the entire flow, top to bottom on the right side. And then we'll do the top to bottom on the left side. And we'll just see how we like that difference. Just to change it up a little bit. Uh, feel free to also try a little bit heavier if you want. I'm gonna move up to my uh, 12 kilo here. I finally figured out who has my 16 kilo kettlebell out there. Ariel, that's okay. We'll get him back in enough time. Here we go. Inverted. Let's do everything on the right side. So, swing. Lunge swing. Switch. Clean. Baseball pass. Switch it up. Halo over to the left side. Inverted swing. Catch it low. Bring it in. Now we're going to that second half. So side swing three times. Two. Three. Then we're going to that hinge reverse fly. One. Two, keep it stable. Three, into that side snatch. One, two, three, bring it down to the rack and scale it out. Keep the elbow up. One, two, that's three, and bring it back to that goblet squat. Nice, guys, that's all exercises on one side. Let's go to the left. Swing. Lunge swing. Switch. Clean it up. Baseball. Switch. Side swing. Halo around the right. Inverted swing. Catch it low. Left side swing times three. One. Two. Three. Reverse fly in the hinge. One. Two. Three. Side snatch. One, don't let it throw you over. Two, three, rack, and scale it up. One, two, three. All right, back up to goblet. All right, right side. Swing, lunge swing. Switch to clean. Baseball, 
side swing, halo, inverted swing to front raise, and right side swings times three, there's three, reverse fly. I'm using my hand to stop the weight so it doesn't go too far. Side snatch. Bring it to the rack. All right, scale it out. Woo. Hands are getting sweaty. Should have had chalk in me. All right, left side, here we go. Swing, lunge, swing. Switch to clean. Baseball to switch. Halo. Inverted swing, catch it low. Come on up, left side swing three. Reverse fly three. Don't let the weight pull you around here, hold your ground. Side snatch. Rack it up, scale it out. All right. We got one more per side. Right side, here we go. Swing, lunge. Switch, clean. Baseball, the switch. Halo. Inverted swing, catch it low. Come on up. Right arm swing. Ooh, getting sweaty in the ice. That's three. Reverse fly. Side snatch. Bring it down into a rack and scale. More. Woo. My left eye has been rendered useless. Okay, left side. Here we go. Swing. Lunge. Switch. Clean. Baseball. Switch. Halo. That feels nice to go through that one. I like that. Swing it out. Left side swing. Reverse fly. Stay grounded here. Side snatch. Back it up. And scale. That's three full rounds, guys. I know we got time left, but we don't even have time for one full cycle. So we're gonna call it there. Woo. All right. Nice work, guys. If you stuck through that whole thing, that's a lot on the brain. That's a lot on the body. So good job sticking through that. I'm definitely gonna write this flow down and bring it back in the future, because I really like that. That felt really good. Uh, what do we got to stretch out here? Let's do a little bit of uh, bicep stretching and pec stretching. Let's do a couple upper body ones today, and then we'll call that another workout video. So grab the uh, left elbow with the right hand, fully bend the left elbow, pull the arm behind the head. So you get a nice stretch coming through the left tricep. You want to get a bit more lax, and you can lean over to your right side, and that'll pull a nice stretch down through the lateral fascial line as well as into the lats on the left side. Release the left elbow. Right arm comes up, grab the right elbow with the left hand, pull it across the back of your head, and optional lean to bring in your lats. I 
say next we're going to uh, we're going to Pex. So we can grab our wall, arms straight on the wall. Uh, well, straight elbow, bent elbow. It's up to you. And turn away from the arm. We're essentially trying to do this motion at the shoulder as best as we can. wall is nice and cool. All right, let's go to the other side. Right arm on the wall. All right, guys. That is it for today. Thanks so much for taking part. Uh, I really enjoyed that flow. That was a lot of fun. I'll see you again for the next More Fit Live workout video, um, whatever it is. Check out the schedule. All right, take care, guys. Thank you so much.